In this video, we are going to see how to add Facebook lead form data automatically to your CRM. So let's say you're using Facebook lead ads to enhance your sales and every time there is new lead, you want this particular data to be added as a contact in Zoho CRM. So here for this, you will have to integrate these two applications and we are going to do this with the help of Public Connect. So here your trigger application would be Facebook and your action would be Zoho CRM. Now let me take you to my screen to show you how. Let us start with the process. The first thing we have to do is we have to type the URL pably.com slash connect and as we press on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, then you simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then you can sign up for free and it will not take more than two minutes. With every account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to test these automations. So since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in. And now it has taken me to this all apps page. I'm going to click on access now with Pabli Connect. And now it has taken me to the dashboard. Here on the right hand side, you can see create workflow. So I'm going to click on this. And now what do we want? We want that every time there is this lead form data so we want to add Facebook lead form data to Zoho CRM automatically. So I'm going to name it as Facebook lead ads to Zoho CRM. Now let's click on create. Now here this particular page has appeared in front of us where we can see two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works. So now here trigger says when this happens, and action says do this, which means if we take the example of the current automation, we want that every time there is data from Facebook lead ads, it should automatically be registered in our CRM. So here my first application would be Facebook lead ads. And now comes the trigger event. What would happen so that we get the response? So here, every time a new lead is there, then only this workflow will work. So let's click on connect here. And now click on add new connection. Here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook lead ads account. So let's click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Now I have already logged into my Facebook page. So the connection has like automatically happened. And here, if I scroll down, you can see page lead generation form and page access token. So what is this page? For this, I'm going to take you to my Facebook page. And here, this is the home button next to this. This is the flag icon. These are the pages that I've already created. Let me show you. So these are the various pages that I've already created, Medicare Hub, Your Stationery, Pabli Connect and etc. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to select a page. The page that I'm going to select is mobile phone store. So let's say that I have a mobile phone shop and I want to advertise my business there. So there is only one lead generation form. So it has automatically been captured by the system. Mobile phone store is the name of the form also. We have to now, first of all, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as I do that, it is saying that log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. To do this test submission, we are going to click on this hyperlink Facebook lead ads testing tool. So let's click on this. And now here you can see that we have to use this tool to test our API integration and we can create a test lead to confirm that our integration is set up to receive data correctly. Basically, this test will help us to understand if Pabli Connect and Facebook lead ads, these two applications have got integrated completely. So now let's select the page and the page is mobile phone store. See the form has automatically arrived here. Now I'm going to click on preview form. So let's click on this. And now here I'm going to fill in the data. So let's, let's say the name is demo name. And then we have the number. And then let's say the email address is demo at pablitudes.com. Click on next. And now submit the form. 
Now, as soon as we have submitted the form, we should receive the API response on Pabli Connect. So let's go there and check. So here we go to a Pabli Connect page and it's waiting for webhook response. Now here you can see that we have received the API response. So we have received the created time, then the full name, phone number and email address is there. Now what do we want that every time we have got some data from our Facebook lead ads, we want that data to be automatically captured by our CRM, which is Zoho CRM here. So let's select our next action step as the application would be Zoho CRM. Now what would be our event action event would be every time it has to create a lead so let's click on create lead and then click on connect so pabli connect is asking to connect itself with zoho crm account for this i'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with zoho crm now here it is asking me to enter the domain for this i'm going to take you to my zoho crm page so this is the home page and here you can see that what is the domain that we are using it's zoho.com so coming back to public connect i'm going to write zoho.com and now let's click on save so once done it is now asking us to provide the access let's click on accept and now finally the authorization has been successful which means that the connection has been done now, if we scroll down, it is asking us for some information like company. So let's, so let's say the name of the company is Mobile Store. The next thing is owner ID. So it has already been captured. Now the first name and the last name. Now, if we go back to the details that we have received, we have received the full name. We do not have first name and last name. So here we will have to add another action step. So the step would be text formatter. So here I'm going to have this feature by Pabli text formatter. And now the action event here would be split text. Why? Because we want this full name to be split in first name and second name. So here, what is the text that we wish to split for this? We will have to map the data. Mapping means to capture the already received data. So here I'm going to click on this and go to full name. Now, what do I want? I want this to be separated. And what will be our separator? Our separator will be space. The space bar which is there in between demo and name. So I'm going to write space. This is how you will have to do. You will have to write space in between curly braces, double curly braces. And then what do we want? We want both the names. So for this, I'm going to click on all. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response. So this is the first name and the second name. Now, again, I'm going to go back and here I'm going to click on connect once again and save just to be on the safer side. Now, here the first name. So for this first name, we'll again have to map the data. So for this, we are going to go to our second step text formatter and have the first name, which is demo. Then the last name again, we are going to repeat the step name and now the designation so you can just write the designation you can provide the email address and all so here we already have the email address so i'm going to take it from the first step this is demo at pavlitudes.com then the phone number so here the phone number has to be written in this format so i'm going to write it like Yes, so I have written the phone number exactly in the same format and now the mobile number so I can easily map the data here and yes, this is my mobile number. Then the website. So if you wish to provide any website, you can the lead source, lead status, etc. And then the annual revenue. This is a required field. It is a must. So let's say that annual revenue is OK and then I'll come down and I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here we have received the API response, which means that now this lead should be created on our Zoho CRM lead page. So let's quickly go to Zoho CRM and here I'm going to go on this leads and check if this lead has been created. So here you can see demo name, mobile store. This is the email address and the phone number, which, so which means that our lead has been created successfully. And this basically means that this entire process is a success. Now let's do it again live. So for this, I'm again going to go to lead 
Facebook lead ads tool and here I'm going to fill another form always remember that before filling another form you have to delete the previous lead so I have just now deleted the lead so it is saying that you do not have a lead submitted for the selected form yet let's go to preview form now let's fill in the data so let's say this time the data is mobile applicant then I have my mobile number and then we have the email address. So let's say it is mobile app at pablitudes.com. And now let's click on next and click on submit. Now I have submitted a form. What should happen? Uh, a lead should be created with the same name and details on Zoho CRM thing. So I'm going to take you back to Zoho CRM and I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, here you can see this is the lead name, mobile applicant, the name of the company is mobile store, then we have the email address and the phone number. Now, basically, this means that our entire process has been successfully integrated. I hope this was really easy. I'm going to take you back to my public connect page and quickly understand what we have done. So the first trigger that we have used here is the feature Facebook lead ads where we had chosen our trigger event as new lead instant. Then we had chosen our action application as Zoho CRM and the event was create lead. There was one step where we had to split our name because the name was provided as full name and we needed first and last name. For that we had included one more action step which was another feature text formatter by Pabli and where we had chosen our actions event as split text and that is it in case of any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box this is the same workflow that we have worked on right now and you can even clone this workflow and start processing immediately if you have any advice or any suggestion or any other question you can always write to us